Today we have left the Mediterranean. I flew to Annecy here in France for a paragliding and speed flying adventure. Unfortunately, looks like rain every day for the next 10 day forecast. And a uh, few little openings of sunshine. So we're gonna hike in the rain and hopefully it will clear up when we get to the top and we can sneak a flight in. This is supposed to be the best place to paraglide, I've heard. But, uh, you know, forecast is never right, at least. Hopefully it will clear up. And I'm hugging in Crocs, too. <clears throat> but that's okay. Socks are still dry. Okay, probably not fine today. So I just thought this was completely crazy. Like, there were a dozen people that just launched into this complete zero visibility. I just didn't get it. Well, it looks like it might be clear enough for enough to get off the ground. All right, we got up. Beautiful uh, day here. All right, just a, I think it was like a five minute flight probably, maybe maybe a little more, but that was the speed wing. I was trying to get down quick, but glide out to that landing, I kind of had to go across the way and uh, I just barely, I think it was a five to one glide. So that glider maybe, that's about what it gets, six to one maybe, because it barely made it to the, the landing. Day number two. Looks like the best, the best forecast all week, at least as far as sunshine and no rain. I haven't looked at the lapse, lapse rates or any of that stuff, but I'm sure there'll be other people up here. And uh, if it's even if it's a weekday, I think I can just follow <laughs> follow other people to the thermals. So I broke down. I bought some some actual shoes. First time I'm hiking in anything other than Crocs, and in years. But it was just because the trail was so muddy and I was sliding all over the place. Let's get up there and fly. We're a third of the way up, getting in shape. Here we are, day number two. At the lunch in Odyssey. Very sunny day. Okay, we just took off. Looks like there's gonna be a fast flight. Not a, any lift at all here. Just fly along the ridge here. See if we get anything. There was a tiny little thermal by the, by the uh, landing, but wasn't able to core it. So we try again, it looks more promising. Lots of people are up.
All right, finally what I could call a decent flight. It was pretty thermic today. I, I, did, I did sink out after like 30 minutes. It landed in this little field, but I, I fought till the bitter end there and I had fun. It scared me a little bit, but I'm getting the hang of thermal in. Uh, I don't know if this is private property, so I better get out of here. Here's a track of my flight. It's weird, I used to I used to do big cross-country flights all the time and, and really enjoy it, but I'm just finding uh, myself really out of practice and uh, just little bits of turbulence are really making me uncomfortable. So I guess, I guess I'm just not, I'm not out of practice and old gear, I suppose. We're now in Charmonet. It was about an hour and a half drive from Annecy. And you can kind of see the Mount Blanc, uh, whatever range that mountain is in. Got on a big hike. Got 3,000 feet of elevation, three and a half miles. And got the, the speed wing. I think we're just gonna focus on some speed flying, mainly for the rest of the trip. Keep an eye out for those power lines. All right, still a ways to go. We made it to the top. Now where the heck is the launch? Oh, whoa. Okay, there's this. <laughs> That's a hang glider launch though. Dang, that is uh, it's no joke. I'm not, I'm not gonna launch on that. <sighs> Cannot find the launch. Maybe this this slope. Oh, that looks doable. Oh, the wind's going the wrong way now. 
<laughs> Wouldn't be a hike in the Alps without uh, some hail. Pretty much every time I hike. Ended up being too rainy to fly and the wind switched directions, so we walk back down now. ticket for the uh, gondola up to the top and maybe we'll be able to fly off or maybe we'll at least be able to see Mount Blanc would be really cool. All right it's way more crowded than all the other days so hopefully we can get a ticket still. I see all the mountain climbers and stuff here too. Fingers crossed otherwise I guess we'll just hike up probably like three hours to get to the, the first launch. I decided to bring the big paraglider just because there's that slight chance I could fly over to Mont Blanc and also this one has the reserve parachute and you never know. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's packed. Hmm. Maybe we won't be able to get in. Alright, we got a ticket for 12.30. It's like two and a half hours from now. So hopefully it stays sunny. Until then, and I was able to get a one-way ticket, so hopefully we can fly down. So it's like twenty-five dollars cheaper. Ah, oh, there's someone flying. Up the top. Look at me. Some uh, mini crampon things, just in case. <laughs> well, I was going to try to fly that, but it looks a little, a little technical, probably for me. <laughs> so I was a little bummed to turn around, but looking at the, the path I had to get to the launch, it just looked so crazy steep. Like if it fell, there was just nothing going to stop me. I was going to go fall so far. Um, but Luckily, there was a launch uh, halfway up the mountain, so I just took the lift back down to there, and there was people, a bunch of tandem gliders, getting ready to launch there, so that looked a little easier. <laughs> Three tandem pilots getting ready. It's a little on the windy side. We'll see how they do.
And here in this field and that was a beautiful flight would have been cool to launch from way up there but i think i need need a little bit of uh more technical mountaineering skills and maybe one of those ice axe or fall resting kind of deals i don't know <laughs> that was pretty intense up the top Back for another day of speed flying, and it's, it's around nine o'clock. Should have started earlier, but I think we'll have a nice little flight. I drove up, I'm gonna hike up, and then I'm gonna fly down and I'll hike up to the car, and then maybe I could hike to the top and do one of those this evening. If it doesn't start raining too much, there's a nice spot. Just a little further up here. So option one is just to launch down here. Pretty sure I'd make that glide. I can't see if there's any power lines. Option two is to go just a little further. Let me go look at that again. I forgot which one I like better. I think I might like this one better. This glider is actually called a hybrid. It's kind of supposed to be in between a paraglider and a speed wing, which is nice because it lands and takes off a little slower, but it's still nice and fun and carvy on the way down. I had a 13 meter mirage for a little bit and that thing was fun, but you needed a real steep slope to launch it. And this is a little bit, a little bit easier to kind of fly without practicing regularly. Alright, that was a nice flight. I'm gonna go drop this off at my Airbnb, my bag off at the Airbnb, and we'll hike up and get the car. Actually, maybe I'll hike up and do a paraglider flight, and then I can hike up later this afternoon and get the car. I think this will be my last paragliding flight of this trip. A little more overcast than I would have liked, but I might be able to do some bridge soaring. And then hopefully I can land by the car so I don't have to hike back up to that again. Alright, we are in uh, much more turbulence than I feel used to, man. We had a, I guess an event, I would call it, just a little bit ago. Glider didn't collapse, but it's a big surge.
All right, great flight. Landed right next to the car down there. These fields, they look like they're so landable, but um, the wind was rotoring off these these pine trees. And then I got to this field and it looks really big, but like it's just peppered with all these lines all the way around it. So I just had to kind of put in this little square here, but all good. I love landing, it's so fun. Thanks for watching my paragliding adventure in France. I felt like I couldn't leave Europe without um, going to the Alps to try some paragliding there. It was pretty fun. It was a little out of practice. Definitely wasn't having the big cross-country flights I used to. I guess it's been four years since I really did a lot of thermaline, but that's okay. It was still fun. Next video, we'll be back in Malta in the boatyard. Lots of lots and lots of projects. And then we'll get pickled herring uh, back sailing again. See you guys then.